In this video, we're going to look at the ways that Utah didn't utilize Rudy Gobert in the Clippers Game 4 victory. Alright, so here we go. It's Game 4, 2-1 Utah leads. Clippers need to win to even the series. But a big time theme in this series has been Utah not utilizing or looking for Rudy Gobert enough on the roll. I understand we could talk about a lot of things the Clippers did, but I have found this thing fascinating throughout the entire series. The first play is one of the best indications we get that Utah isn't looking at this properly. Gobert's going to set the screen. He's one of the best rollers in the league. But look at him here. He's flashing open. He is open on the roll. Batum is not digging down. And we see that Kawhi is walking away from the play. The ball should go to Gobert right now. Instead, Mitchell waits too long to pass. And by this time, Batum's going to be able to cut in front of Gobert to steal the entry pass and force a turnover. On one hand, you do have to credit the Clippers' defense because it has been so good in the last two games in the series. But Utah is also missing their opportunities. But I do like this set for Utah. Royce O'Neal is going to fake a ghost screen and a pin down for Ingles and then cut down low. He is open, but Mitchell doesn't pass to him. Bogdanovich is going to come off of and curl off of a Gobert pin down, which Gobert has the screen here. Now, as Gobert goes to roll on the Bogdanovich catch, Gobert's open. Get the ball to him before Kawhi is able to dig down. Instead, Bogdanovich holds onto the ball, and now we're late in the shot clock. And Utah's going to have to try to create something off the dribble. Bogdanovich is a very good offensive player. He gets into the mid post, and Ingles is telling Bogdanovich to pass to O'Neal in the corner, but Batum's in the way. But Bogdanovich is still going to make that pass. Batum gets his hands on it and forces yet another steal. Utah is just blatantly missing these opportunities. High screen again by Gobert. Once again, one of the best rollers in the league, if not the best. He's right. He's wide open right here. Just get him the ball. It's too late. Ball goes to the wing. Gobert is still is open on the ducking, but they don't get him the ball. Now Royce O'Neal is going to drive. And when he drives, Batum's going to step up. And Gobert is pointing to O'Neal to throw the ball high in the air for me. I'm seven foot three. But look at this pass. It stinks. And it's yet another steal by Batum. You could put a highlight compilation longer than the seven minutes and 19 seconds I made of plays in the series where Utah's just been awful at getting Gobert the ball. Screen by Rudy, as which is obviously a theme, rolls hard to the basket, and Clarkson's going to get downhill, and Clarkson does something very good here. He puts Marcus Moore Sr., the defender on this play, in jail. This is a very good job. Reggie Jackson has stepped up, which means Gobert is now behind the defense. He has a foot on Jackson. Throw him the ball up top. We can even see Gobert calling for the ball. Jordan, throw me the ball up high. And then Jordan throws the ball behind Rudy Gobert. Paul Jordan is able to get a hand and force a steal. This play is the definition of a good result can still happen with bad process. Like, it's still possible to get a good result on a play with absolutely horrific process. And this is the epitome of that. Like, just to be plain and simple, this is what it comes down to. High screen by Gobert again. Obviously, that's a theme that we're going to be seeing throughout all this. As he goes to roll, and we pause it here, he's on the roll, but Batum is the low man, so it's fine to not pass him the ball here. The ball's going to get worked around the horn to Bogdanovich, but as Batum clears the space down low to get to the corner, Gobert is open. Get him the ball. Even as Bogdanovich drives, Gobert's still open. You can get him the ball for an easy dunk. Bogdanovich then has to resort to this turnaround contested like 12-footer. He makes it, but it's not great process. I can indeed confirm that this play is the first time all game they got Gobert the ball on the roll. High screen, slips it, rolling downhill. He gets the ball higher up than you would like him to, but watch what happens. One dribble, goes up, draws the contact, draws the foul, and guess what? Rudy Gobert gets free throws and gets some points finally. As someone who loves basketball, seeing stuff like this is incredibly frustrating, even if I don't cover the team or they're playing against the team I do cover. High screen by Gobert, and as he rolls, I want you to see this for a second. He's going to flash open, and he is open rolling down to the rim because Leonard has to get out to the wing shooter. So Gobert's open on this roll. Just get him the ball. He's 7-3. Please just throw it over the top to him. It's an easy dunk. Instead, Ingle sets a screen for Clarkson. The Clippers switch this, so Zubots is now on to Clarkson, and we're going to end up seeing Jordan Clarkson take a contested pull-up three-pointer, which, yes, he is quite good at contested pull-up threes this season, but if the alternative is this compared to a wide-open Rudy Gobert dunk, I'm pretty sure you take the dunk. It's amazing that Gobert just hasn't openly pouted in some of these games. Roll by Gobert on the slip screen. 
catch by Niang. Gobert's open, rolling to the rim. And the reason he's open is because Leonard has to dig down to the corner shooter, which is Royce O'Neal, and Patrick Beverly's stuck on the other shooter and isn't big enough to kind of come over to contest this. Instead, it's a contested shot by Niang. Gobert gets completely missed on the roll, and Utah is just botching this. This play right here is actually why I'm pretty pissed off when I look at the gameplay of Utah in this series when it comes to Gobert. Gobert's rolling. All right, so you kind of anticipate he's not going to get the ball, but look at this. He's rolling. No defender down low to stop him. Shooter on the wing. We're going to have shooters in each corner that the defenders have to respect because they have to stay with him because Utah's so proficient from three, which allows Rudy to grab the ball up top high, and it's a dunk. Why does Utah not go to this more? Lo and behold, another possession where Utah actually gets it right. Why the hell did it take him so late into game four to get this working? It, it behooves me. Gobert slips it, slipping the screen and starts his roll. Clarkson's going to come downhill to occupy Zubats as the big defender, which puts Zubats in a pickle. Gobert's pointed for Clarkson to throw the ball up high because he is 7-3. Boom, ball up high, catch up high, dunk for Rudy. Do this more. This play isn't as quite egregious as the others, but you can understand why Utah has been hesitant at times to make these passes. Screen against Marcus Morris by Rudy. And as he starts to roll, watch what the Clippers defense does. They sag down on Rudy's roll because as Rudy gets to the nail, we're going to notice that Zubat is up high to try to deter the pass over the top, while George and Batum are anchored in the mid post at the lane to prevent the pass. And what that does to Utah's offense is it kind of bogs things down. So as Ingles goes into his drive, look at the shot attempt he has to throw up. This is not a great shot attempt. So this play isn't against them, but it shows some things. All right, this is the final play, and we're going to see Utah use and take advantage of Gobert's presence inside. But it makes you wonder what took so long in Game 4 to do this. High screen by Rudy. And as he starts to foray down to the rim, we're going to notice that the Clippers have a pretty solid defense beginning here because as Gobert starts down, we notice that Morris is digging down as the low man. But Morris has to recover back out to the shooter, so when Bogdanovich begins his drive, Batum steps up, which means Gobert is now behind him. Bogdanovich is going to lay the ball off smartly to Gobert, who pump fakes into a dunk. Utah really needs to use him more.